yesterday we have seen the warehouse stock management if we recap at a high level four stock categories are there unrestricted quality block returns okay these four only playing the game within the ewm system with reference to this four four is nothing but these four are calling as a non location dependent stock types there with help of availability groups we are bifurcating into unrestricted into put away unrestricted in warehouse and so on okay and we are maintaining these availability groups to our storage locations whenever i move the stock into any storage type automatically within that storage type system is checking the availability group and then that is updating in the storage location of ecc that we have seen yesterday we have only seen <coughs> ff unrestricted stock in put away today i am going to demonstrate say for example bb blocked stock is there blocked stock is there within the blocked stock we bifurcate blocked and scrap also scrapping that we see okay this thing for this i am going to create a two storage look as two storage types in ewm system okay and i am maintaining one concept call stock type role stock type role okay for this stock type role is dividing our bb into different types some of the stock is into blocked and some into the scrapping okay that we can check go to the ewm system i will create a separate storage location for blocked stock and scrapping stock we are into ewm system go to img setup scm extended warehouse management extended warehouse management master data define storage type new entries apl is our warehouse sr cp is a scrap scrap storage type and um, using a minimum configuration confirm stock put away rule is uh, general confirm removals and coming coming to here i am using 002 and non location dependent stock type is bb just to have a look on here sir yesterday we did not use any non dependent stock types for our unrestricted but coming to the block and scrap this is required and stock type role is here scrapping stock normal stock two are there i am using scrapping for this one and one more thing availability group and storage location combination is 1 is to 1 so yeah we can show 
in our existing store a location with this available group instead creating new one this is one and another one i am going to create blck block block stock availability group is double zero two non-location dependent bb and stock type role is normal okay this one within the blocked stock we have one stock type role is scrapping stock yes to segregate differentiate the blocked stock either that is a scrapped or blocked put away role is general and confirm stock removal this thing now just to have a look on our configure availability groups under goods received process configure availability group here configure stock types go to our warehouse BB B6 and the scrap is S6 okay see here B6 blocked warehouse and S6 coming to here blocked stock is normal stock and coming to the scrap scrapping stock one stock type role is there okay this thing now i am going to create two bins for this one one is blocked another one is scrap two bins slash n slash cwm ls01 ours is apl scrap bin here stock type is uh, storage type is scrap next one is block bin here storage type is block blck okay now open our ecc check our stock positions in e mmbe mmbe this is our positions now afs 9 is there all these nine stock is in unrestricted use gst3 is there we move some stock into this storage types then what will happen we can check what will happen we can check okay now here in ewm one adahak movements transaction is there slash scwm slash adahak products movement this is the transaction code slash scwm slash ad prod slash n slash scwm ad prod okay here product apl mat one i am selecting it please mute yourself sir 
say for example within the gst bin some stock is there i am clicking on the form view leave all these things warehouse process type warehouse process type we discussed right 9991 i am using later in later stages again we use this transaction okay this thing at this moment just we are touching the stock management only i am moving one stock into the scrap stock yes crp what will happen we can check what is there Just now we created right why it is not showing us this is the black bin this is the scrap bin SRCP okay scrap bin I'm moving this stock. Could not determine subsequent stock type to Z2. Okay. Go to SPRO. SCM Extended Warehouse Management goods received to process strategies sorry configure availability stock put away configure stock type it is not recognizing our stocks scrap Yes, six scrapping we given still it is not okay now coming to here normal stock this is normal stock to scrapping we are doing but it is not recognizing ours yes six scrapping double zero to bb scrapping stock go to storage type sir availability group is uh, other than this one sir not zero zero two there. one sec one sec uh, yeah scrap srcp mandatory now come to ad prod again gst bin one quantity scrap bin confirmation now we are going to discuss further uh, session sir this warehouse order and these things okay now come to monitor slash n slash cwm slash monitor sap stock and bin physical stock
scrap bin one is there scrap bin one is updated now we refresh the mmb screen from here we moved this one two is there now scroll right This is updated here, blocked. Can anybody uh, uh, give some inputs? It was there in availability stock of GST. When I move into the scrap, it is updated here against this available for sale. Can anybody? I need some input, sir. A small thing is there, small tricky thing. BB, BB, uh, sorry, BB, you mentioned there in the storage type, I think, when you could define. Yeah, that's fine. Availability. Yeah, that, 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 that's fine. Uh, that is uh, from EWM and that's okay. But coming to ECC, why it is updated in AFS? 002. Because of availability group. Yes, exactly. That we maintained double zero the double zero two in the storage type scrap, right? So the double zero two is assigned to this storage location. That's what this is updated here. Okay, that's what. Okay, the, the, this this is the reason. Now. Can uh, somebody tell me that if I want to update here itself, what should I do? Zero zero one uh, availability group should be assigned. No, 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 no. Again, as this, if I want to, if I want to use, I want to show GST products blocked. What should I do? Change the availability group and assign the availability group to the GST storage location. Yes. Lantern yes. storage location. Yes. <clears throat> that is there already. Okay. Now I will show you this, sir. Okay. Please, please have a look on this. GST FF only is there, right? Now what I am doing? Copying it. GST BB okay this thing must be okay S6 yes, already there we go with Z6 we go with Z6 okay ZB GST block Lime, it is not okay. Please carefully observe. Jet B. GST blocked stock or scrap stock scrap Jet B. Come to here. New entries APL ZB GST BB What happened? No.
ये पी एल जेड बी अवेलेबिलिटी ग्रूप इज जी एस टी नॉन लोकेशन बी बी स्टाक टाइप रोल इज स्क्रैपिंग ओके नाउ कम टू द स्टोरेज लोकेशन Yes, R C P is our scrap. This is the double zero to G S T. I am giving. Again, I am doing some adhak product adhak product movement here. अड़क प्रोडक्ट मूवेंट सेम प्रोडक्ट वन स्क्रैप बिन कंफर्म Confirm plus save. Go to monitor. Here, yes, six is there, right? One more you can get ZB, ZB. Same bin. Okay, I ignore that this previous one. Okay, we change the available group. Now come to MMBE. This one. Line. Why means GST availability group is assigned for this storage location. Got it, sir? This one. Got it? Sir, in the MMBE, three forty three moment type will be created, or we can check moment type moment. We can check. Go to material moments. Three forty four. Okay. 344 is created. Okay, sir. This one. Okay. This is the stock moment. One more is there blocked. Go to again. Add a product moment. GST is there. Open it. One quantity is there. Block BLCK is there. Block bin is there. Same. Click on the mandatory button. while during uh, your practice yesterday so please uh, maintain one excel sheet and uh, track all the errors these things see here could not determine like these errors we are getting just we have forgotten to mandatory field okay these are helpful for future references Now again, AD prod. Sir, AD product is uh, similar to transfer posting in MM set, like three forty three. Yeah, yes, exactly. We are moving. 
from one mm-hmm. storage yeah. location to another storage correct correct storage bin to bin bin to bin to yeah see here in this stock i have in this bin i have stock some there nine i am moving some three to blocked f2 f2 relevant for our storage location aafs confirm come to here first we check see here b6 block bin it is updated monitor from here it is moved to blocked only blocked only why because here bb is there but there is no separate stock non location dependent stock type for scrap in ecc that is also showing in black okay there is no separate bb within the bb we used stock type rules to differentiate scrap stock and blocked stock stock type rules with reference to stock type rules we differentiated this is this one this is this one like okay this thing this is about the stock management okay this is about the stock management <coughs> got it sir where host stock management and uh, how our uh, availability groups are connecting to different different storage locations and etc and there is no limit to create the storage location from 1 to n number of storage locations you can maintain okay this thing okay sir so this is about the warehouse stock management how stock positions update ewm to ecc okay once after doing the goods received or internal movement or uh, goods issue whatever it may be whatever it may be okay this thing if we have go with only one storage location one availability group with us and we maintain the gr staging areas and etc etc and yeah normal in ewm every thing process same but the entire stack is showing in only one storage location in ecc okay either the goods received also you can uh, uh, do the same storage location our goods issue also uh, we can do the we can do from that same storage location this is the concept okay this thing sir sir yesterday i have did uh, that uh, one storage location single storage location okay it's work well uh, only that uh, 411 moment type is not created apart from yes, this exactly. uh, all are similar yes exactly exactly 411 means storage location to storage location if storage we have location if we have only one there is a no storage location movements okay that thing okay. yeah and one more thing sir determination of a uh, warehouse process type uh, their document type is I- inb i have given for a uh, estate process okay warehouse process type is uh, i have removed 1010 and i have given my warehouse uh, process type but okay. uh, if i want to maintain both and how to maintain that uh, you can get a one and uh, yeah you can uh, uh, get some uh, answer after 3 4 classes uh, process type determination okay, sure, yeah okay sure thank you sir. yes yeah this is about the warehouse stock management please let me know uh, any further clarifications to move further into some other topic can you give so, some uh, inputs on the quality managed stocks yeah quality management managed stock is uh, simple sir if your pro- product is maintained with uh, quality management in ecc okay uh, whenever th- 
the purchase order is raised and inbound is created instead of f1 we get the q3 start time q3 Automatically, system can identify that uh, with reference to our quality management activations against our product. Okay, that can be this one updating with directly Q3 instead of F1. In our case, F1 is coming right for that Q3 will come. Okay, after uh, after uh, confirming means after. Uh, uh, confirming against the quality inspections and releasing quality documents and etc. If I move the storage type to some of uh, slow uh, storage type or fast storage type, uh, that will update with FF again. Means F2 stock, it will update. Okay, that thing. This can be comes by default through quality inspection engines. Quality inspection engines are available in the system, but not in IDAS systems. Okay, IDAS that is not available that component that can be comes from there. Okay, through inbound delivery notification itself, we can identify the Q3 inbound delivery notification identify that Q3 stock type. Okay, this side. Next. So we can actually sir, batch to batch and uh, stock type to stock type. How we will uh, transfer? Pardon? Internally. Pardon? Sir? Batch to batch uh, and batch to batch and uh, material to material uh, transfer will be there internally. Okay. Stock type to stock type. Like batch that. to batch or material to material. Do you want to go with uh, one stock type to another stock type? A same stock type. Same stack type, there is no worry, right? There is no changes. Okay, so can we go for uh, <coughs> different materials? Yes, exactly. We can go. We okay. can go. Yeah. And I will show you one uh, test case here. One transaction is being called post. Yeah, one thing. Uh, hold on. First, we finish this post one transaction is there. Please wait, sir. We will finish that and uh, come back to you. Not one here. This is the product with me. This is into this one, right? One quantity I'm moving to. One one three bin. Mat two. See here, one product to product. I am doing. Okay, this thing. And here, this is remains the same. You have to do. You have to. Remains same. Create plus save. Automatically. This is updated F2, M2. Okay, one sec. We can check. Monitor. Stock and bin. Physical stock. See here. One, one, two. One quantity. One sec. Hold on. Yeah, one one. Come to here. We have given one one to right. So one one three. One sec. Hold on, sir. Another one one. This thing. Create plus changing material, material, sir. Product, material, yeah, 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 yeah. Product, to product. product, yeah, product to product.
yeah but uh, it is taking the same storage bin some other region is there within the <coughs> warehouse process type double nine double nine Sir, product one is product one is becoming product two in this yes, case yes exactly that is also possible Here again is double nine double nine. This is the warehouse process category three internal movement. Internal movement, okay. And the activity is INTL. Here, if I use this warehouse process type for any posting changes, any posting changes that previous setup was posting change always in storage bin, same storage bin. It is updated. Okay, it is not consider our slow one one three. Now I made it to posting change never in the storage bin. Create warehouse order. This one. Okay. Now I am doing the same exercise. See here, process category. We should change. One sec. Instead of disturbing this, I am going with our own. <coughs> Copy it. Post. Posting changes. After this transaction, I will explain you the reason. In <coughs> which. The circumstances we change the uh, product to product we change the product to product okay this thing posting changes or oh, seven we need to give Okay, this one. Posting changes. If we see here, the activity is STCH. I am explaining you the business scenario in which is which. Uh, what is the necessity to go with the posting changes, material to material in warehouse? What is the necessity? Okay, I am running one automobile industry, spare parts on this thing. I have two cables with me. Two cables. Say for example, CABL1. This is a brake cable and suitable for BMW 5 Series. Assume that. I segregate this uh, cable like this just in my this thing brake cable BMW 8 series also 8 series okay but same cable I have given one label to use for the 5 series BMW and another one is 8 series BMW. In my warehouse, I got some order from one of the dealer for this product. Cable one. Okay. But in my warehouse, this cable is not available. Readily. What I can do, these cables are available with me. But this cable also fulfilling his requirement. What I can do against his sales order for the CABL1, 
without changing its sales order i can change my product code from cable 2 to cable 1 and send to him and send to him okay this thing but when this can be applicable we don't have any restriction this cable is only for bmw 5 series only for bmw 8 series if anything that condition is there in the packing cover or whatever it may be the dealer can refuse even though that is uh, that is fit for this other type of vehicle got it sir in normal what i observed in my previous experiences they are doing like this one one uh, scenario okay for this product order came but the product is not there this is calling as relabeling process relabeling process relabeling process okay what they can do first they move products into one separate bin relabel bins or relabel storage type there they can dis they can cut the previous cover and they can put relabel means another cover cover means some polythin cover sir uh, zip locked cover there they can do some uh, label new product label and send to the customer product is same but they are uh, getting uh, they are uh, making their business with uh, this is for 5 series this is for 8 series like that is one of the business technique okay this thing relabeling process okay this one this is a example for material to material in warehouses okay this thing now come to our posting product this one here four is there out of these two i am changing to our this one now it will accept post new create press save come to warehouse order is created why because source and destination are difference different right three triple zero nine three triple zero nine confirm it through monitor document warehouse order three triple zero nine confirm it already confirmed okay okay now go to stock positions refresh it see here this is updated okay this one this process is relabeling process okay we use here what we do is <coughs> what we do is the product to product this one product to product but say if i want to move this stock to storage uh, type to stock type to stock type also we have seen we, we are using with ad product ad product okay this thing and uh, for better so he, he, yeah please yeah so here we we, we use uh, labeling here so during the inbound delivery label uh, will be printed or how it will be in a real time process uh inbound time labels sir. they uh, uh, generate the labels during the inbound uh, again it's the goods received okay again it's the goods received they pre uh, get the labels and the pay from the products hu label product labels and etc okay this one Sir, in in uh, this uh, relabeling process, we are taking some quantity of material one and selling as qu uh, material two. That's it. Correct. Only correct. This... correct. Yes, no correct. code will be changed for uh, uh, material one will be like that, and material two will only quantity some portion of the quantity will be taken from material one and selling as material two. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Relabeling, sir. Relabeling. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, CK sir, in my current company, they are using a process order for relabeling. Okay. So, I, what I must convince them that you can use this process with uh, just now what you sh show yeah. to uh, to avoid this uh, rework, correct? Correct, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Relabel process, sir. This is widely used in uh, automobile companies. Okay, got it, sir. This is the stock management, yeah. stock management in EWM. Okay. Yeah. This La one request, last thing, sir. Yeah. How can we see this stock uh, in inbound delivery? Any inbound delivery created will show us uh, location independent stock type or uh, location dependent. Both stock types. Only the inbound delivery. During the inbound or deli inbound or delivery notification itself, we are bringing the. We are getting the stock types. See here, come to no, no, in PRDI. Yes. PRDI. Yeah. So which stock type we generally because this is always confusing. Uh, this is which stock type in any PRDI. Okay. Sir, how the ECCA side uh, it will be affected, sir, if we are doing like this? I will show you. See here, F1 started, sir. This is coming from the inbound delivery. In the inbound delivery, we have the ROD storage location, right? That ROD storage location uh, is assigned to our uh, 001 and uh, it is not subjected for any quality inspection, right? So that is by default mm -hmm. taking F1. Okay. If it's a, a quality yeah. inspector stock, it will uh, take Q3 automatically. Q3 stock. This one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, please. Yes, sir. Yesterday I created on uh, IBD uh, okay. uh, with the AGST store, uh, storage location. Okay. So that, is, that was not distributed uh, into WM. I mean, it is okay. Okay. So, I mean, uh, this, uh, uh, like, you know, we are, uh, we are posting this stock type, right? Uh, okay. To GST, that is here. I mean, how it is, I mean, uh, how it is uh, flowing the data from uh, EWF to. Uh, yeah. yeah, correct. Uh, I think uh, you are using the uh, your own uh, arc structure, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I copied. I mean, you were. Uh, 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 no, you, you practice for your uh, PO only. My PO only. Hmm. Yes, I'm Q2. Yesterday, there is nothing. Okay. Nothing, nothing there in pending, nothing there in uh, pending, Rago. Okay. See, yeah, uh, I will explain you again, single storage location, how we manage. Okay. Say, for example, I have one storage location called AGST. Assume that. Assume that, sir. AGST is a single storage location for my plant. When I created to purchase order, I can use AGST. Inbound delivery also use AGST. Okay. Coming to like not extended to warehouse like Correct, correct. Maybe, maybe. During the inbound delivery notification, the system will key pick F1. Assume that this is also your choice. I can use Z1. And restricted stock okay during Z1 that can come and here against inbound delivery that is also Z1 and I receive in a GR stage after this also my product is Z1 if I keep my product into one of the storage type fast there also Z1 so nothing will be happen that entire stock will show here only 
this is the cow this is the concept okay this we can use now yeah uh, in e uh, ecc i will show you yeah uh, just now sometime back i did uh, material to material right we what movement type it is updated relabeling process go to right click material movements 309 only 309 only this is the standard one right 309 only yes, 309 only okay from mat to, to mat one to mat two this thing. sir instead of this one relabeling we can uh, send the customer as a uh, mat one and mat two no sir or mat mat one or two quantity and mat two six or four quantity that is also one option means uh, you have uh, you need to uh, change the order right now. sales order purchase or code purchase, uh, okay that's uh, uh, instead of think? splitting we are doing uh, our side correct and okay. one thing one thing here i will show you one more uh, this thing before closing today's session okay relabeling is uh, i am always using the relabeling process in my warehouse and i dedicated some area for the relabeling relabeling work i dedicated some area for the relabeling work okay then how we manage it whenever i use the relabeling Whenever I use the relabeling warehouse process type, how the stack will move to that standard itself. Here, I used manually, right? Uh, I, I entered manually, slow, 01-01-03. Instead of that, whenever I use any relabeling warehouse process type, how the system will propose the single storage bin, that is dedicated area, that I can show you. Go to IMG setup, extended warehouse management, master data, define storage type, new entries, AAPL, REBL, relabeling storage type, confirm put away, put away rules in general. Confirm stock removal mandatory double zero two. Okay, this thing. And I require one bin. Go to LS01. REBL bin. Storage type REBL. Now I require a separate warehouse process type. Go to SPRO, SCM Extended Warehouse Management, Extended Warehouse Management, Cross Processing Settings, Cross Processing Settings, Warehouse Task, Define Warehouse Process Type. We only lock it somewhere. Post is the right. I am copying it. REBL is my warehouse. Relabeling. Here, destination storage bin, destination storage type. Here. Destination storage bin, destination storage type. I am using this thing here. See here. Destination storage bin, destination storage type. Now come to post transaction. This product is there. Just here, some five is there. Go to here. If you enter REBL, -E 
automatically it is coming here automatically just here how much quantity you can take create plus save gone that is gone now relabel bin relabel bin okay this one the moment i will be 309 here that's 309 automatically this is okay like we get you stay here yeah, yeah please Double two, double four, zero. Only this one, okay. Now why it is not distributed go to SPRO enterprise structure assignment plastic education not no entry is there no entry is there, Arago. Got it? Still, it is not coming. Okay, somewhere some setting is missed again. First thing for this, no entry is there. A G S T. Change the quantity and distribute it. That shipping point, I think, sir. Correct. That also exactly. Means. exactly. Go to S P R O. Shipping point is not determining for us. Plastic execution. Shipping. Basic shipping functions. Shipping and goods receiving. Assign goods receive point to inbound deliveries. Plant, our plant. VL 32L Now it is coming Okay Double one zero five eight
this one. Okay. Yeah. This is about the warehouse stack management. From tomorrow onwards, we uh, start with warehouse tasks, warehouse orders, and etc. And uh, next week we set up put away strategies and etc. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, please. Yeah, question I will ask tomorrow. Not now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the session. Have a nice day. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man.